I love the Create Mod. There's so many cool things you can do with it, whether it's automation or just make things look cool. And it's all driven by rotation. All of the components, whether it's belts or cogs or anything else, it starts with rotation. So let's go through in this Create Mod tutorial and talk about how rotation works and how you can generate power for your contraptions. The speed of the rotation determines how fast things are processed. When the rotation is slow, things get processed slowly. And see how slowly this thing is going. If you turn up the rotation, things get processed a lot faster. Now there are a number of ways to generate rotation. First, it's possible to use a hand crank. Now, this has a couple of drawbacks. First, it burns through your hunger fairly quickly. And second, you have to sit there and make it spin. Now this is great for testing, or if you've got something quick and dirty, but for most machines, you're gonna want something that's gonna be able to run without you. And that means we're gonna get into some other fun stuff. The easiest way to get things moving is with a water wheel. You can set them up vertically like this one, or they can run horizontally like this. There are also large water wheels which turn more slowly, but they can generate more power. The next thing you can use is a windmill. These are made of a windmill bearing, a hub block of whatever sort you want, and then a bunch of sails. All you need to do then is right click on a bearing to get it spinning. You can also stop by right clicking on it again, and you can change which direction it spins by holding on the little dealy swirly thing here and changing the direction. Windmills can be built in any orientation. You can build them horizontally, you can build them vertically, your sails can go straight up and down or out, or they can be any weird shape you want them to be. They just all have to be connected. The more sails you have connected, the faster the windmill will turn and the more power will be generated. The last option is a steam engine. Now these are kind of complicated to set up, but they're really cool. You start with a fluid tank that's filled with water, okay? And you could pump out of any infinite water source. I'm coming out of a creative tank just for uh, simplicity. You put a blaze burner underneath it, and then if you right click on it with your fuel, it will heat up the burner and everything starts spinning. You can, you can even do something cool like this and have a deployer or mechanical arm or other types of things feed coal into the blaze burner for you. Then you just have to be sure you keep this thing stocked with coal or wood or lava buckets or pretty much anything that can burn can be fed to a blaze burner. And that will keep your steam engine running. Mechanical components like this mechanical press generate stress. The faster they go, the more stress is created. Kind of like real life. In create mod parlance, the amount of stress that is generated or used is measured in stress units. This press going at 16 RPM uses 128 stress units. If you crank up the rotation, this one's currently at 16 RPM, crank this up to say 256, everything stops. Also kind of like real life. You can see now at the 256 RPM, this press wants to use 2,048 stress units. This water wheel will only generate 256 stress units. When things get overstressed, your only options are to either slow things down, or you can add other machines that generate more stress units so that your system will continue to run. Connecting different SU generators is as easy as connecting them to the same shaft. In this case, the shaft is going through the water wheel, but that doesn't really matter. As long as they're connected in some way, it all works. Now, right now, this machine, as you can see, is overstressed. I have it cranked up as high as it will go and nothing is working. If I turn on this windmill, now you can see things are chugging along again. That's because this windmill generates 6,600 
SU, which is more than enough for the 2000 SU used by this mechanical press. CreateMod has a couple of useful tools for seeing how fast your systems are going and how much stress is used. The first is a speedometer. You attach it anywhere in line with your system and it will show you the rotation speed. In this case, the water wheel is generating eight RPM. There's also a stressometer, which I know a lot of people would find helpful in real life to show how much stress is being generated by the system. In this case, there's, there's nothing on the system, so there's no stress, and it shows the remaining capacity of 256 SU. These two tools can help you figure out how much power you need to add to your system, whether it's through water wheels or through windmills or through steam engines, it doesn't matter. These will help you figure out whatever you need to do to keep your systems running nice and smooth. Now, remember when I said that faster machines process items faster? That's 100% true. But your components will only generate a certain number of RPMs. So this water wheel generates eight RPMs. If we come back here to the steam engine, it'll generate up to 64 RPM, which is great. But what if we want things to go even faster? So you have a couple of options. The easiest one is to use gears. If you go from a large gear to a small gear, things go faster. It doubles the speed, in fact. Looking at the speedometer, you can see that we're now spinning at 16 RPM. If we keep chaining these gears together, large gear to small gear, large gear to small gear, now we're all the way up to 128 RPM from a water wheel that only spins at eight RPM. This is really handy and really easy, but it's also very, very bulky. The next option is a rotational speed controller. And you start by connecting a large cog wheel and then the rotational speed controller. And you could actually connect these in either way. If you wanted to, you can connect the speed controller up here and then the cog wheel up there. It doesn't matter. You can do it in either way. What's fun is that these speed controllers give you this option here. You can just click and hold and crank this up as high as you want it to go. Or well, up to 256 RPM. So you can see this guy is just going hog wild, but the water wheel is still only spinning at eight RPM. These are fairly compact, fairly easy to use. They're just a little, little expensive, which is okay. If, when you get to a point where you're really needing it, that price is not that bad. And they can control speed in both directions. So if you need, need it to go counterclockwise and you're, or you need it to go clockwise, it doesn't matter. This rotational speed controller can take care of all of that for you. I should also note that you can also use gears to slow things down. Now, obviously, when you have a rotational speed controller, you can just turn that up or down as you need to, but you can use gears going from small to large and that cuts your rotation in half, right? So if you have a segment that needs to go a little bit slower, or maybe you're working off a steam engine that generates 64 RPM, but you want it to go a little bit slower for whatever reason, maybe you need to generate less stress or it just, or something just needs to feed a little slower. That happens too. You can use gears to slow things down as well. There are so many awesome things you can build in create mod, but it all starts with rotation. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.